Thank you very much. Um, Aya, right, it looks like I'm talking through this video on a work, but things didn't work out right. This is really, really thin paper that I'm painting black, but paint it whatever colour your feather is. And I'm, uh, I was explaining there that that feather wasn't good enough because it was too bitter. Um, a hog hair brush is really good for grooming a feather uh, like a bird would to get the bits back together and for fluffing up after your fingers have, you know, messed it up a bit. Right, on the back of the feather, you need a glue. I don't think uh, Mod Podge would do. I think it's too tacky, too sticky. I think it'd lift the, the, disturb the feather too much. And remember that whatever glue you put on is going to dissolve a bit of the dye. See, when you lift it up, clean your mat. And I did one side and then I did the other side, you know, let it dry. Uh, if you're going to use an air, air tool, you know, to dry it, don't blow all the fluffy bits into your glue. Uh, it, it's not good. So I'm painting both sides of this really, really thin piece of paper. Um, the same colour as the feather and once you've got one layer on in whatever shape you want to do obviously I'm doing a heart here um, all the other bits out of the way you'll need some of them but the second layer you can be a little bit more rough and get a more precise outline um, I wouldn't try doing both these steps in one basically so there I'm letting it dry and now I've got some floristry wire I know it's coloured but it's still floristry wire um, and I'm making a it's supposed to look halfway between an old-fashioned dip pen nib and a heart and cupid's arrow apparently is now miming shooting an arrow um so i've gone down up around one arch down to the point back up again to make the heart stroke nib i'm just trying to shape it up and then i lay it against a really fine paintbrush there you go perfect timing and take the long leg and go around and around and around and around and I make a spring, coil, spring, whatever, tight. Once I manage to get it going, I'm trying to keep one leg straight and keep the other top of the heart straight and to try to get it going round and round at the same time, if you know what I mean. You'll see and and then the bit that's left over at the top I just make into a squiddle, squiddly whittle, sort of S curves with a little going fatter and thinner, pardon, a uh, flourish. I just mimed it with my finger then, I don't know if you saw, and this is where I'm trying to explain things, but it just didn't work out. Uh, just rounding tips off by just rubbing it inwards with round ended pliers. They're actually, thank you Mark again, they're actually circlip pliers. Some kind of circlip pliers because circlip pliers actually have an extra little, eh? They are the circlip pliers, ask Mark. They haven't got the extra little nibble on the end. Michael! I'm sorry, he just, he's eating and he's just bent forward to have a look at the picture. You you're a pig please mm. excuse him <clears throat> you're an embarrassment i can't take you anywhere um yeah there you go i'm doing wiggity wiggity bit and then basically you insert your feather in where i'm putting the brush and there uh, you just insert your feather in there you might have to arch it a bit and fiddle about with it just to get it to go right Come on, get on to the next bit. Like that. And just make sure it sits all right. Right, back to the feather. Um, 
pull some of the long oh I'm trimming the heart out just making sure that my paper's big enough you don't have to get it absolutely perfect at this point because when you stick the paper on it's a bit more solid so you just basically want to get your heart cut out so you haven't got glue everywhere and you can see what you're doing and then you keep some of them long ones and trim down the um, quill of the feather you sort of bold the quill bit by taking some of the hurls off <laughs> getting good at this eh? now I put glue on the same side that I've been putting glue it's just the same stuff that I've been using and press it down onto it don't squidge it too much because you don't really want it coming oozing up through and then just trim it off and any refining you can do here keep that inside um, so I was talking to him not you right the hurls that are left, the long ones, you can curl them by, you know, like you do floristry ribbon, by pulling them against something. I was using some tweezers just to, you know, curl them. And then I used my hog hair brush again just to fluff it up because, you know, sweaty mitts sort of mix sweaty hands you, you do you know right these are some cards that i got in a huge ebay lot i've never known what to do with them uh they've got oh it's love and hugs uh, something embossed into them and some hearts there and i end up covering them up because not the hearts but the writing i just don't like it so I'm going round with the two Distress ink pads uh, going in a fair bit with lighter swamp masking the embossed square off and printing up a shipping bill love letter. <laughs> sorry yes it's a love letter not a shipping bill it's a love letter um well, oh yeah, masking tape ripped a bit, so I managed to mend that without you being able to see it at all. It, it's totally mended properly. Um, then I wet it a little bit and started putting in the ink pads as a paint around the outer edges and in, put a bit of splatter in and encouraged it because these cards are... Uh, do they call it linen laid? Mm -hmm. I wanted it just to seep out a bit into that linen laid to make it look a bit older. Right, I think this was a purple, a blue and a silver heart. And what I've done is I've coloured them in with... You can do it with a Sharpie or anything. And then I put... Um, oh, what's glossy it? Accent. Glossy accent type of thing. Oh, I'm doing a few more as well that I use for something else that's just using it up put glossy accents on and then wet it with a paintbrush just to get it to move a little bit and it, it you can actually alter the size of stuff I'll, I'll show you in another video this i'm coloring some crochet it's a hundred percent cotton crochet cotton yeah <laughs> pearl pearly cotton and then i wrap it i've sort of colored it three different tones and I wrap it round three fingers and then slip it off my fingers and then basically just tie it in a knot and it looks like a bow. It, it's effective. Um, there I found a piece of card that's linen laid that's slightly pearlescent. It's really nice stuff actually. And I'm just sticking that in but only on the crease and then i've took three different colors of dyed cotton that pearly cotton and stuff that i've just been talking about and put it over it and spade them out <laughs> at top and bottom a little bit and i put some glue around edge of art and sprinkled some glitter in there some pink glitter i can't remember the name of it sorry um but this, I was, I was gonna give it, do it as a giveaway, 
but then I thought well do you really want it as a giveaway because it's a girly card and I'm sure most of my subbies are girls I'm positive well I seem to only get messages off girls so I don't know do we do it as a giveaway or not but I've got um hopefully not too far away um I hopefully want to obviously get up to a thousand and I'm trying to think of something to do for the you know thousand subby giveaway so give me some ideas on what kind of things you might want um I just I, I don't know Mick what are you doing is a child um yeah I don't mean I, I just I don't know give me some ideas what do you want I mean is anybody interested in this card do we have any male subscribers as I said I think we do get male viewers yeah I'm sure there's something like two <laughs> two point five percent of my views come from males I don't know uh, but as I said, I don't know if they're subscribers or not, so let us know in comments. And thanks to my new subscribers, and thanks for watching. Share it, subscribe, like it, have a good day. Bye. What? What are you rolling? But I'm saying bye bye, and you start waving your hand at me like Queen again. Yeah, goodbye. I thought you'd turn it, turn it off. No. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> Bye.